be making the Slimming World Sin Free Like Heinz Tomato Soup. Um, I've got the recipe here. So what you need are two tins of chopped tomatoes, which I've got. Any tomatoes can do. I normally buy the cheaper ones. These are normally around 25 to 30p. Um, they're exactly the same as the more expensive, to be honest. And if you're on a budget, they're really good. Um, you also need one tin of baked beans. Yeah, again, I've got Asda beans. Uh, there's four in a pack um, for 99p, but you can use any beans, uh, whether they're value ones or Heinz or anything like that. So um, it doesn't state what type of baked beans, but there we go. We've got a tin of beans. Um, a tin of carrots. Now, I have, yet again, value carrots. Um, these are about 20p a can, and I use them not just for in soups and things like that, but um, I use them just to chuck in with other things as well. So maybe um, I can't bother to cook them from fresh, so I just shove them in the microwave. So they're a great source of speed um, as well, and really cheap. Um, we're also going to need pickled onions and yet again these are as the smart price pickled onions they're free and they're speed you're going to need three of these oh mine seems to have been opened uh, so I don't know this should this should be okay I probably opened them to try and smell them or something, I don't know. Um, so yeah, you'll need three pickled onions. Um, and then you will need a stock cube and half a pint of water. So that's all the ingredients for this. So let me just get my can opener. So we're going to turn our hob on to six. And we're literally just going to add everything in. You don't blend it before. You just add it all in and let it simmer for 15 minutes. So, one can. I think this is really easy to do. I mean, I'm cooking this because I have a full day of lectures tomorrow. And I, I have a two hour gap where I could come home. But knowing me, like, there's just no point. Um, I'd rather go and sit somewhere with some soup but also if I don't want it then I'm taking I'm going on the train so um because I'm going home tomorrow and it's a two and a half hour journey so instead of me stopping at all the shops on the way um I'm gonna make stuff and take stuff in my lunch box so that I'm not gonna snack on other things I'm just going to drain these. Remember, you do need to drain the carrots. So, that's one. Add your carrots in. I know it seems a bit weird but um, to have all this in, but apparently it's really nice. Um, I've never personally tried it, but I do like to buy the pre sort of packet soups from Asda. They're basically loads of chopped veg and they do oh they do vegetable um vegetable butternut squash leek and potato and something else um and they're all simple which is amazing. Now they seem to they smell okay. I mean, they're onions. Um, 20th of July. Yeah. Uh, if I die, then we all know why. Um, so you're going to want three of these. I'm probably going to try and get ones that are in the spirit, though. In the vinegar. So not the ones oh, from the top. Which is proving to be harder than I thought. Oh, someone's just come home. So 
one, pull, two, three. So we have that all in, put them back in. And now we're just going to add the half a pint of water and the stock cube. So half a pint, give me a second. It's about 350 millilitres of water. So we'll just say about a glass. So we're going to add that in. And then add our stock cube in. So I have asked for stock cubes, um, they're really cheap. Um, you can get cheaper ones, but I don't like to go so cheap. And then we have that in there. Oh, just sprayed it all over me. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to stir it. So, there we go, it's all stirred up. Um, and what you now need to do is leave it to boil for 15 minutes. So, I'll show you what it looks like now. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So you can see that we've got the carrots in there, the beans, the tomatoes, there's the pickled onion, and um, the water and the stocks in there as well. So when I get back, hopefully it will be done. And I'll show you how to blend it and everything. So keep watching. So my soup is all boiled. I've actually turned the hob off and it's still bubbling. Um, I do have my lunch being cooked ready for tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take that off the heat. Okay. And now you're going to leave it to cool down. Now you want to leave it to cool down for a good 10-15 minutes. Because there have been cases that if you put it in to um, a blender or something like that early when it's hot it will actually break the blender so yeah don't do that okay so once it's cooled down i'll get back to you and i'll show you how to blend it so it's cooled down and i've put it into a jug now it is still a little bit hot um but that's okay because i'm just going to leave it to cool down afterwards um, so you put it all into a jug and I use one of these now um, they're really cheap they're about 10 quid um, and they're really easy to clean as well so once you've transferred it you want to hold the handle whilst doing this and you put it in a lot of people make this mistake of just putting it in at the top you put it in at the bottom and go like this <laughs> Suction. 
Um, so sometimes you can just hold it at the bottom, but your best place is to hold it in the middle, press the button and stir it continuously. <laughs> potatoes done and you can see that there's nothing there so once we do that now what you do to clean these is you turn them off at the plug and oh, close the door and you rinse it under the water straight away and it pretty much cleans it because obviously the blades can be quite hard to clean and quite dangerous and then you leave it standing up and pull the plug out. <clears throat> so, just sneezed. Um, this is the soup. Now, as you can see, it's quite, it looks a lot like Heinz. We're going to bring the camera up. There we go. So, it looks a lot like Heinz. It's all free and it's speedy and everything like that. So, and this can keep as well. So, what you're going to do now is just leave it to cool down. And obviously, it will cool down a lot quicker when it's not in a metal pan because the metal insulates the heat and keeps it hot so yeah we're gonna leave this and hopefully i'll have some nice soup so thank you guys for watching and i hope you really like this recipe please like the video and subscribe and share around thanks everyone bye Hello guys, thank you so much for watching. If you can click the button below and subscribe and make me a very happy person. More videos to come on recipes, food haul and much more. Thanks!